Humans are fundamentally relational creatures. We are born to be dependent and grown to be interdependent. It is more effective to shape a baby's developing brain than to rewire its circuit in the adult years. The primary caregiver, through predictable and responsive nurturing, can provide the essential neural stimulation for the infant's brain to build effectively. In contrast, if their caretaker is unreliable, aggressive, or simply absent, the critical period of brain development will be disrupted. Positive emotional experience is essential for optimizing the foundation of brain circuit. Without a strong foundation, children's ability to build higher level brain circuit will be impaired. When we are confronted by threat, our brains will prepare us to respond by triggering a series of protective measures. These are the so-called fight or flight responses. The hippocampus, which stores short-term memory and links the fear response to the context in which the threatening event occurred, will be activated. Besides, the amygdala, which detects whether a stimulus is threatening or not, will also be activated. The hypothalamus will stimulate adrenal gland to produce stress hormones, adrenaline, and cortisol. As such, our heart rate, blood pressure, and blood sugar level will be increased while our appetite will be diminished. These instinctive responses are well developed in the early stage of life. The prefrontal cortex is the brain region that takes the longest time to be fully developed. It performs our highest order cognitive ability by carrying out functions like planning, goal setting, decision making, impulse control, and mood regulation. Generally, it reaches full maturity only after one reaches 20. How does stress affect our brain development? Stress could be roughly categorized into two broad types, tolerable stress and toxic stress. Tolerable stress refers to moderate, short-lived stress that the brain is able to recover. Toxic stress refers to prolonged and unrelieved activation of stress response system. Research found that under toxic stress, elevated cortisol level will lead to memory problem by damaging the hippocampus and the amygdala. It also impairs the development of the prefrontal cortex affecting cognitive functioning and impulse control. Allowing children to experience tolerable stress provides important opportunities for their brains to practice adaptive stress response and promote self-regulation. Then, their abilities to cope with adversity after growing up will get strengthened. In contrast, toxic stress caused by abusive parenting will trigger persistent fear and anxiety. It will have a detrimental effect on brain development. Healthy brain development and stress response system can be derailed by chronic abusive parenting. Children being abused show heightened sensitivity to potential threats. Such sensitivity is highly adaptive as early identification of threat can protect children from being abused. However, an increased tendency to stay excessively hypervigilant and assign malevolent intent to others. Example, teachers, schoolmates, and friends. In neutral social situation, example, school, can be maladaptive and make one vulnerable to impersonal difficulties. Children who stay hypervigilant to protect themselves are more likely to erroneously view others as threatening. Excessive self-defense behaviors will fuel the vicious cycles of interpersonal conflicts. Over time, if children divert most of their energy in self-protection, their capacity to learn and interact with others will be affected. Having been abused or neglect, the fearful memories that are engraved in the brain and the body are long-lasting. These haunting memories do not go away by themselves over time. Still, human brain is plastic. Children who have been traumatized can still stand a chance to thrive. If they can develop at least one stable and responsive relationship with a trustworthy caregiver or adult, through cumulative positive experiences, children's brains will actively unlearn the fearful memory. Their stress response systems will gradually resume normality and they will be able to develop resilience over time.
For children being severely traumatized, they can also benefit from scientifically proven treatments to regulate their fear and anxiety. On the one hand, predictable and responsive responses from caregivers are critical to children's brain development. On the other hand, long-lasting traumas are often created through the hands of trusted adults. The traumatic memories stored in the brain and the body will increase children's risk of developing mental health problems. In essence, it is very common for parents to encounter difficulties in parenting. Caregivers are highly recommended to take a break and reflect or find someone to talk to if needed. Hopefully, our society will have children with stronger brains and healthier development. If you would like to seek professional counseling and parenting, please contact our Integrated Family Service Center or contact our hotline at 2343-2255.